Good morning, Mike Grant, Guns Unlimited Firearms Training. This morning, I'm going to engage that steel popper down there twice, be, hit it twice before it goes down. But I want to talk about this uh, Veterans Administration in this uh, month that they call a Suicide Awareness Month. Yeah, there are suicides, there's no doubt about it, but there's just as many suicides in the private sector as there is in the uh, um, Veterans Administration. They make a big deal out of it. They call it 22 a day. There's no way it's happening at 22 a day. That's over 8,000 a year. I'm not buying it. And you notice one thing, just call them out on it. Tell them to give you the numbers and names on it from a week ago. You say it's 22, then they changed it. Now it's down to 17 a day. How did they get these numbers? Probably the same way they did the unemployment numbers that Biden put out and Harris that were false. Don't buy into it, people. It's a way to turn your gun. They want to take your guns away. Oh, we're going to lock your guns up. They want to take them away. So I'll engage this target here twice before it goes down. Make an attempt to do it. Behind cover, come out of the holster, up on target, hit it twice. Okay, let's whoop and check it out. See where the hits are at. Let's see what time that was. Boy, that was fast. 220. Let's see if I hit it twice. 220. Twice. There you go. Good drill. I just started out doing this. That's the first. That was a cold drill, which is good. And the time on the clock, if I don't mess it up here. I'll get it out softly here and bring it up. A little over two seconds, 2.20. So I'll close out here in a second. Anyhow, remember what I was saying about this National Suicide Month and everything? It's a lot of hype. It's a lot of people that got want their, they want to put their fingers into your pocketbook. You know, they want your money. Everything has to do with money. Make no doubt about it. The VA, they're giving money to Homeland Security to take care of the illegals and not taking care of our vets. So why are we not saying something about that? And why aren't they talking about it? Because they don't want to tell everybody that one. That's, that's a bad deal. We have an invasion at the southern border. It's going on. People are coming in. we got gangs in Aurora, Colorado, you know, that are going around to apartment complexes, carrying us all over the news. And we're talking about people that are coming from Palo Alto VA telling us about locking your guns up. Locking your gun up isn't going to do anything. You know, they if you know that there's a problem with somebody, why are you not locking them up? The VA knows who these people are that are having mental issues with PTSD. Why aren't we locking them up? That's the question that ought to be asked. But we don't because we close all the mental institutions. The one flew over the cuckoo nest. So don't buy into all their garbage and definitely do not trust the government. The government is you and me. They're no different than us. They pull their pants on. They take a crap just like we do. They are just in charge, and that's how they get it. They get all the sheep, and they tell you, and everybody complies. Don't comply with their garbage. It's all lies. Do you believe the Secret Service and the FBI right now? That's the question. I have. I don't believe them, because why has that gun not been released with what caliber it was and what the manufacturer was? And actually... They may have done that manufacture, but what, what about the bullet manufacturer? Was he shooting a full metal jacket? Where's the ballistics? Where'd all the bullets go to? They're not showing us. Anyhow, God bless. Do a drill like this. It's good for you. Guns Unlimited, out.